Hello, everyone, dear colleagues. I am Wojciech Buland from the full stack department in Actum. And as you may know, we all focus on React a lot these days. But I think <coughs> that we should care about our CSS just as much as we care about React. So I am going to tell you something about CSS for humans, which is Stachyons. <coughs> you may remember me from the Actum anniversary party where after a couple beers I went passionate about CSS <laughs> and I was like, well, Philip, did you read the article on scalable CSS? Ronald, do you know Tachyons? I even posted a link uh, to the article to Frontend Channel on uh, the Slack, on our Slack, and I thought I'm about, I'm about to start a revolution in how we do CSS in Actum. But the next day, I went to work, and the guy guys was like, "Oh, what you posting links to Slack right from the party? Are you mad?" <laughs> so it didn't <laughs> work out, <coughs> and that's the reason why I'm why I'm here today, standing in front of you to tell you more about the topic. Last time I was uh, presenting in the on the academy, I told you or I pointed out some guidelines on how to do CSS at scale. And while it still applies, uh, the struggle is still real because even if you do all those, if you follow all those guidelines, at some point you will end up with your CSS bloated. So it's a dead end. I'm I came to a conclusion that it's because of uh, it's too complex to follow all those guidelines. We need something simpler. We need to step aside. So I need you to open your mind and throw away your prejudices, everything you learned about HTML semantics and stuff like that, and just follow me. <laughs> so, Takions. You can imagine it as a simple Lego block. It is simple just as the Lego block, as you can see. It is functional, so it just works. <laughs> it has no side effects. There is no unexpected behavior. <coughs> it is immutable, so there are no hidden declarations or overrides. And this is how it looks. On the top is our Actum CZ header. Below is its HTML using tachyons and its CSS. So, as you can see, it's just simple mapping between its classes and CSS. <coughs> so just simple one purpose <coughs> classes and corresponding HTML. I don't want to bore you with uh, theory, theory and I would like to I would like to show you a demo. So, I will just play the video. I wanted to do something real, so I just downloaded uh, Actum CZ slash career page and I went to rewrite it using tachyons. And this is the process. <laughs> I thrown away all the CSS from the page, use just the bare HTML and start from scratch. This is me doing that. It will be soon over. <laughs> it will be mobile, friendly, desktop friendly, responsive, all that stuff and it will be like one to one match to our original website. Almost finished. It's like normal speed I'm working. <laughs> One hand only. <laughs> Coffee. <yeah>. Okay, done. <laughs> now the second video is the result. So this is the result. As you can see it's like the current page, the mobile version. Now, responsivity. Cool. And the desktop. All using tachyons. Any guesses how long it took me to rewrite it from scratch using tachyons? Week. Less than a day. 
Yeah, it was less than day. <laughs> it was two hours. And the code is like, I think it's, I think it's the same quality as the original one. <laughs> so just two hours to do the page. And yeah, what I wanted to show in this video was how straightforward and simple it is to work with tachyons. But I don't want to stop there. I will show you some numbers. Original website, CSS, just the CSS for the carrier page is 20 kilobytes as at the moment, the current ones. And with tachyons, it went down to 4.5 kilobytes, <coughs> so it's like five times less. And the average specificity of the page went from 16 to nine. Specificity is a relative number and it means how complex is your CSS or how easy it is to maintain. And of course, the lower the better. As soon as you are under 10, you are good. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it seems it works. So yeah. Tachyons is not only like a hipster rainbows and unicorns stuff. It's being used in the production as, uh, at the moment. You can see it in TED 2017 website and in Czech field, for example, WebExpo CZ uh, website. If you want to know more, just go to the slides. First link, second link is the repo of the code I did. Third one is the library itself, Tachyons. Fourth one is the famous article I posted on Slack. <laughs> so please read it. And the last one is a uh, case study from a random front-end lead guy who almost burned out because of his bloated CSS and he wanted to try tachyons and the rest is in the article. Thank you for your attention and if you want to <laughs> discuss the stuff further, just contact me. <laughs>